My name is Samantha Bastion. I will be performing an extract from the play The Pitchfork Disney by Philip Ridley, playing the character Hugh. And I told you what happened. How when I got to the end of the street, a pack of dogs appeared. One started to chase me. I was running, running and screaming. The other dogs chased me as well, all of them howling and snarling like wolves. They chased me over the waste ground, through the old car park, and into the derelict church. And still, the dogs chased me. There I was, standing at the altar, with seven rabid animals coming down the aisle towards me. I picked up some old Bibles and threw them. Did no good. The dogs ripped the Bibles to pieces. I was so scared. Then one of the dogs made a lunge for me. I jumped up, reached above me, caught hold of something. It was smooth, cool, solid. I started to climb, like climbing a tree. And I was halfway up before I realized I was climbing the marble crucifix. And my chest was pressed close to the chest of Christ. It felt so comforting and safe. Then one of the dogs bit at my feet, pulled off my shoe. My toes were bleeding. A drop of blood landed in the open mouth of the dog. It went berserk, started to climb the crucifix. I scarfed higher, wrapped my legs around the waist of our Savior, clung to the crown of thorns for all I was worth. And then the base of the crucifix started to crumble. It rocked from side to side. Any minute, it might fall and send me into the pack of dogs, like a Christian to the hungry lions. I was so scared. So I kissed the lips of Christ. I say, save me. Don't let the crucifix fall. But the crucifix fell just the same. I crashed to the floor. The dogs nibbled at my bloody fingers. I'm going to be eaten alive, I thought. Eaten by savage dogs. I screamed, help me, help me. And then, gunshots. I flinched at every one. I look around. The seven dogs are dead blood oozing from the holes in their skulls. I feel sick. A priest approaches me. He asks me if I'm all right, and I tell him, I am. Um, he says, did you come for confession? And I say, yes, because I think that's what he wants to hear. And I owe him something for saving my life. So I go with him into confession, and he asks me what I've done wrong. I tell him I can't think of anything. He says, don't be stupid, no one's perfect. I know he's right. I know there's something I've done, something that made me a naughty girl once, but I can't think of what it is. I tell him I can't think of anything. He tells me to think harder. I can feel him getting angry and frustrated. He wants to forgive me, but I'm not giving him the chance. Finally, I say, I kiss the lips of Christ and they taste it of chocolate. He calls me a sinner and says I must repent. I ask him if I can be forgiven, and he says, no, your sins are too big. I'm crying when I leave the church. I vow never to go shopping again. <laughs>